as the tribunal in a bid to deliver their judgment have given our constitution woto woto. Constitution we so we supposed to be waiting these people supposed to be looking at before they give their justice, before they pass any judgment that has to do with election or any other thing. In fact, the the people that are supposed to hold this constitution very tight are these people that call themselves lawyers. But in a bid to deliver judgment on the level of tribunal, the judges decided to give our constitution woto woto by not even looking at anything that has to do with constitution to deliver their judgments. Because if you check very well, some of the evidence is brought to them. They even silence everything before they delivered their judgment. The 25% which they know very well that is in the constitution, they didn't even mention anything about it. They silenced it automatically. Even though that particular section of the constitution need to be changed. At least as far as that that, that particular thing is still in the constitution for now. I think they, they're supposed to have considered it before passing their judgment, but they silenced everything. That's by the way, as the opposition had decided to move forward to the apex courts, let's look at these six factors that can lead or that can make the Supreme Court to overturn the judgment of the tribunal. I think they should overturn it or obtain it because even this Supreme Court themselves, sometimes some of the judgment they have passed in the past, when you look at them, you, you even start asking an, another question, whether these people really overturn this judgment or they obtain the judgment. But let's look at these factors that may lead or that may make the Supreme Court to overturn a judgment of the lower court. As we are watching this, to get the full details, try to share this video, like it, comment, and follow my page, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. We move. Now, person will give up. Now, the person lose. We move. Guys, let's take a time and look at these factors that may lead the Supreme Court to overturn the ruling of an election petition tribunal. There are instances where a country Supreme Court has overturned a ruling made by the lower courts, including election petition tribunals. The process typically involves individuals or parties who are dissatisfied with the decision of the lower courts such as election petition tribunal, appealing those decisions to the country's Supreme Court. The Supreme Court then review the case and as the authorities to either uphold or overturn the lower court's ruling. Here are some common scenarios in which the Supreme Court might overturn the ruling of an election petition tribunal. Number one, Errors in law. Let's critically analyze these errors in law. If election petition tribunal is found to have made legal errors or misinterpreted the law in its decision, the Supreme Court may overturn the ruling to correct those errors. Procedural irregularities. If there are procedures, irregularities, or violation of due process during the proceeding of election petition tribunal, the Supreme Court may intervene to ensure a fair and just process. Lack of sufficient evidence. If the tribunal decision was based on insufficient evidence, the Supreme Court may review the case and make its own determination based on more comprehensive assessments of the evidence. Constitutional violation. 
if the tribunal ruling is found to have violated the country constitution, the Supreme Court may overturn decision to uphold the constitutional principles. This particular part number now, this is the problem that some people are talking about that the tribunal did not even look at the constitution of the country before taking their decision right, right now. But let's see if the Supreme Court will take because of this particular issue, because of this one, and overturn the judgment of the tribunal. Public interest. In some cases, the Supreme Court may consider the broader public interest and national stability when deciding to overturn or uphold a ruling. They may aim to prevent or resolve political or social conflicts arising from decision disputes. New evidence. If new and sufficient evidence comes to light that was not available during the tribunal proceedings, the Supreme Court may consider this evidence in its decision making process. It's important to know that this specific legal procedures and standards for appealing election petition tribunal decision can be significantly from one country to another. Additionally, the ruling and authority of the Supreme Court can also vary based on a country legal and constitutional framework. In some countries, the Supreme Court has a final say on election disputes, while in others there may be multiple layers of appeals. Ultimately, the goal of Supreme Court in such case is to ensure the fairness and integrity of the electoral process and to uphold the rule of law in the democratic system. This last one now, I think, is where Atiku may even come up with the evidence he said that he brought from the Chicago State University. Because, you know, when that result came out, some people were saying that as they couldn't have any other window to present those cases because the tribunal has finished their proceeding that time and everything has ended waiting for the judgment. But in this particular case, now I think this is another time the opposition can bring more evidence to, to support the one they have submitted before. As I'm watching this, share this video, like it, comment, and follow my page and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. We move as I'm waiting for them to move forward.